Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review. I say third party, it's kind of a knockoff stroke, rehash, repaint. It is the Rescue Pioneer JH01L for Lima. Uh, this is the ratchet repaint designed for Dark of the Moon and briefly in Age of Extinction. Of course, this is a kind of black mamba rehash repaint of the original MPM figure with a few mods and a stunning paint scheme. Let's quick look around the box. That's it. And here we have him straight out of his plastic prison and he is sensational. Absolutely adore how good he looks. Uh, fabulous repaint. They've done a sterling job with Rescue Pioneer's first release, but this I don't know, this is always how I've kind of seen Ratchet in his definitive kind of form. The color scheme is sublime. It just looks sensational. The first version is superb for the 2007 fans, but this this was my favorite version of Ratchet. Uh, maybe not so much in Age of Extinction. Uh, curse you, <laughs> lockdown. What did you do to my boy? But uh, I still think this looks absolutely sublime i mean just check out that face sculpt i mean that is an incredible sculpt props to takara but it's been highlighted by the sublime paint scheme even the gears and cogs on those legs and feet the pistons everything is designed to pop now here he is along with his 2007 inspired brethren both exceptionally good versions of the character. I mean, there's definitely nothing wrong with the first Rescue Pioneer. I absolutely adore him, but it's just something, something about these colors, I don't know. Something kind of really draws me to him. I don't know if it's the contrast. Now, you have to tweak him slightly when you get him out of the packaging. Uh, these wheels are up by his head. You need to just uh, bend those back on their hinge and fold them forwards. The chest grill that actually untabs from here and comes down and if we look under here they tab in either side of here these then come down to the chest and these bits here fold down on a ball socket and these bits just fold over to the back like so just to get him a little bit more screen accurate he comes with that gun and of course the blade and we get two missiles now I only got one with this chap, I uh, probably should have got two, but I only got the one, but that, that is sublime. Backpack, yes, he has one, but uh, does it look untoward? No, not at all. Everything sits where it should. Everything's covered up nicely. Does exactly what it needs to. And I don't have many in my Dark of the Moon crew left out at the moment but we do have the gorgeous black member take on prime and then i've got uh, ironhide next to them as well that's the black member ironhide as well r.i.p ironhide r.i.p ratchet just prime plodding along uh, people seem to die around you prime <laughs> Yeah, they look good. Uh, maybe Ratchet could do it a little bit bigger. I think to display maybe with these oversized ones. But uh, he still definitely looks the part. Sensational looking piece in uh, his bot mode. Uh, let's see how that vehicle mode fares though. And before we transform him up, uh, let's just take a quick look at the articulation. Now, I think officially uh, with these side sections here, I think they're meant to plug in to these bits on his arms, I think. I think officially that's meant to go up that way. And then that goes in there. Like that, I think. And then I believe this is meant to actually 
rotate around to the back. I think that's actually how it's meant to go. I think that was how the original had it, but uh, I have them like so. So you get a lot more range on the arms. You're not kind of pinned down. And yeah, I suppose I could always rotate these to flip like so on the arms. But again, if I have them like this and around to the back, they kind of hide out of the way nicer. Uh, the head up, down, left and right. Uh, you can rotate the collar as well. The arms can go up and down, uh, forward and backwards on that kind of butterfly joint there, ratcheted out to the side, ratchets, ratchet. We've got bend on the elbow, rotation on the elbow. Uh, the gun is mounted on the hand. Let's just unpeg said gun and undo his hands, bring his fists down. And we do have rotation on those hands as well. There is waist rotation. And there's also an abdominal crunch as well. It does actually lift up, not a huge amount, but enough to bring that torso right to the front. And that's kind of why I don't like all of this kind of shoulder paraphernalia. It just kind of locks in the way and gets in the way. Whereas if you have it here, you can just move those arms back free willy-nilly. Legs forwards, legs backwards, out to the side, bend at the knee, pivot on those feet, and there's some up and down motion there as well. I think the only real perk of that is uh, maybe it looks a little bit tidier, but I don't know, maybe it's just me. Uh, do you have a preference? Do you like to set yours out slightly differently? Do you think you have a better kind of combo than what the kind of official transformation is? Uh, kind of just a few little tweaks, I think, here and there. But that's personally what I like to do to mine. Uh, but for part of the transformation, we need to just remove these weapons and these small projectile missiles. Now let's uh, get him transformed up. Uh, the idea is if you've already uh, kind of uh, got these all angled differently, you just want to kind of push these back so they're up against the arms, keeping them out of the way, and move these out of the way so we can get to these chest panels. And they're going to unplug from here and come back around and attach again, again on this side. Uh, you may want to just move these side panels down as well, just gain access there we go that's down and that's down that's going to come back up and that's going to attach like so these can come back kind of more central we have these tabs on the shoulders uh, this here is going to come up this rotates up this is going to come past this like so this will then come around and these will push and tab in together, and this will come up. These are gonna form kind of part of the roof bar panel, all part and parcel with that backpack. This is then gonna all unplug, unfold, and untab, coming away from that panel. And if you can see there, this is gonna come up and kind of slide in and in to there, and that's all gonna form the backpack piece as well. Look, uh, this is gonna slide on a sliding hinge. There we go. Automatically see the colors. Oh, gorgeous, aren't they? You're gonna wanna rotate the arms. You're gonna wanna bring those up to the side like this and the hands are going to kind of come down and tuck out of the way you want to do the same with this side to bring that arm up bring the hand down tuck those in and down out of that way and just make sure that the doors are flipped out to the side uh, ratchet's head is actually going to rotate and turn all the way around. And then these wheels are gonna untab 
and uh, come in. So again, untab and uh, bring that in. Uh, the waster is kind of tabbed into this socket here. That's a really tight tab. But once it's out, it's uh, definitely out. Uh, these come out and around, out and around. There are some tabs on here, which allow the wheels to push, locate and secure. And then this whole piece here is going to rock and rotate all the way around. Ah, oh, that's just come just untabbed, isn't it? Oh, make sure those wheels are tabbed back in. There we go. This can then come up like so and in to that slot there. Gives you an idea of what we're going to work with. The heel spurs are going to collapse down onto the foot like this. This is going to come up. This section here comes out and this is on a pulling hinge you slide that out of that hinge rotate the waist around it's a really kind of tight waist joint there though and you want to rotate these sides uh, make sure that these sections here are kind of opened up and down these panels are then going to unfold and you can see they are going to fold out to form part of the ambulance side panel. This comes out and one of these is attached. Which one is it? This one here. So that's going to come down like this. And if you look, these are actually going to fold up and over on that double jointed hinge. So that comes over. And same on this side, up and over on that double jointed hinge. These come down and these are going to come up and they will tally up with those side panels. Again, down and tally up like so. And then it's just a matter of Getting everything to fit where it should do. Let's do that by starting off by lining up the back, shall we? Uh, there are various tabs along here. Come on, push, and let's line you all up. That's lined up, that's lined up. And on this side, oh, no, this side isn't. Come on. to skip forward through any of this, no matter how tedious it may be to those of you that have transformed this a lot of times. I just want to make sure that people can clearly see what I'm doing to make it just that little bit easier. All right now I've popped these open so we can see exactly what we're doing. Uh, the arm's going to come in, those are going to rotate like so, and those are going to come in and slide into that void there, and then the panel is just going to come in and uh, kind of line up. We've got this tab here, so we know when everything's lined up because this tab will come in and that's going to push 
and slot into there. And then these are gonna come around. These are gonna slide in to the front, do, 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 like that. Now it's just a matter of me pushing everything in, trying to tab it all in as best I can. I'm hoping for the best, <laughs> hoping that everything stays where it should. So let's start pushing all of this back. Go. That's in. That's in. That's in. Come on there. Oh. Oh. That's. Lots of uh, kind of panel forming going on, but the end result is a darn good interpretation of ratchet so let's just uh, try and get these lights to tab in as well Boop. come on oh there we go there we go that, that. look at that there we go that is how you do a ratchet. Uh, my wheels have just come untabbed again. Need to slightly tighten those, maybe a little bit of kiki on them. And look at that. For a vehicle mode, that is pretty darn good. I think I've kind of got everything pegged in where I can. The odd bit is unplugged. And there is the option to store his vehicle weapons on top, but I can't say I'm a fan of that. I've told you once, told you again. I do not like weapons being stored in vehicle mode, but the paint deco on this is superb. We've got fire department on the back there. Search and rescue, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And nice not to have any spelling mistakes as well. Let me just double check now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is pretty darn good. Even down to the insignia on him as well. That's attention to detail. Now I have done a full kind of vehicle comparison with the original. If you look at the original video, I've included a link in the description below and it does compare them to a lot of the other kind of oversized movieverse vehicle figures. Genuinely very happy about him. Uh, I think I will. Uh, do I have him displayed in my vehicle mode? I like to have one of each. I like to have a bot mode and a vehicle mode. Do I display him in his vehicle or do I display uh, 2007 ratchet in his vehicle I might do seven ratchet I think like I said these can kind of be stored they just tab on to the back um, and this goes on to the top but no that is not for me this is a superb figure incredibly good value for money piece and highly recommended I'll include a link in the description below where it can be purchased and until next time, for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>